What's up foodies? Today, we are gonna be making apple butternut squash soup in the Vitamix. It's perfect for this time of year to warm up those bones. So let's get into it. All right, foodies, we're gonna start by turning our ovens to 375 degrees Fahrenheit. Then we are gonna cut the top off a of bulb of garlic and place it on a sheet of tinfoil. Drizzle the garlic with olive oil and season with salt and pepper. Wrap it in the tinfoil and place in the oven for 45 minutes. While your garlic is roasting in the oven, chop all your veggies into equal sized pieces so they cook evenly. Then to a bowl, add four cups or 670 grams of butternut squash, two cups or 556 grams of carrots, three apples or 385 grams, and one small onion or 140 grams. Let's sprinkle on two tablespoons of fresh thyme and two tablespoons of chopped rosemary. And yes, the rosemary is fresh as well. Drizzle on about two to three tablespoons of olive oil. Season with salt, and let's not forget the pepper, and mix until all the veggies are well coated. Place your veggies onto a sheet pan and spread them out so they're not piled on top of one another to make sure we get some great caramelization while they roast. Place the pan in the oven with your garlic and cook for 30 to 35 minutes until your veggies are tender. Also, don't forget to take out your garlic when your veggies are ready. Now it's time for the fun part. We're gonna turn these veggies into a beautiful creamy soup. I will be using a Vitamix to blend the soup. You can use another blender. Just make sure it's a high power blender as we want our soup to be super creamy. You want to add your veggies while they are still hot. So carefully add your roasted veggies to the Vitamix. Also, don't forget to add the roasted garlic like I almost did. Just squeeze the garlic right out of its skin. It's best to do this while the garlic is cooled a little so you don't burn your hands or you can put on some gloves if it's still hot. Then add in four cups of hot chicken stock or veggie stock if you want to keep this vegetarian or vegan. Blend on high for about 30 seconds. Then remove the lid, add one cup or 250 mils of heavy whipping cream. Alternatively, you can use coconut milk here if you're trying to keep it vegan. Place your top back on and blend for another 45 seconds or until the soup is smooth and creamy. Now, you can season the taste and serve it up here, but during the winter months, I like a piping hot soup. I personally like to put it back into a pot and put it on the burner and bring it to a boil, then season for salt and pepper. I like to top with some crispy bacon bits and a sprinkle of goat cheese or feta and a bit of fresh thyme for color. I also like to serve this with my homemade focaccia bread, which you can find the recipe here on the video screen. And there you have it guys. Super easy apple butternut squash soup. Let's give this a try. Oh, whoa. Woo! That is tasty. This is a great soup you can prep at the beginning of the week. Once it's done, you'll have delicious soup throughout the whole week and to keep you warm during those cold winter nights. If you liked the video, give me a thumbs up and subscribe down below. It helps out the channel. And as always, foodie out.